Okay, uh, here's change of base formula. Uh, I hope you like, I hope you appreciate the way that I wrote base. Um, so basically we're just going to kind of explore this. Um, and, well basically um, this will take a, like your, this will take like a base uh, logarithm and whatever the base is we're going to, we're going to transform it essentially into, uh, you know, the base E. Um, very handy if you're working with these things and your calculator, you know, you, most of them only have like a base 10 key and a base E key, you know, for your natural logs. So, um, if we can convert this to our natural log form, we'll be, we'll be okay. Okay, so, so what we've got here is we've got natural log, uh, base A, and we're going to change it to natural log base E using this formula right here. So, we could, we could go ahead and say that Y is equal to log base A, okay? And, and if we make that claim, let's just write over here, let's just say that, well, well we're not going to say it, but it has to be true, okay? Because these are equal, so Y is equal to both of these, and if I can go make this look like this, then we're, we're good to go, okay? So, um, let, let's just go back into our little book here and find out what, what does this imply. This just implies that A raised to the Y power, okay, is equal to x, okay. That's just the uh, you know little logarithm rule that we all know, okay. Um, so let's take the natural log of both sides, okay. Okay, so I took the natural log of both sides, and now I'm going to go back to that logarithm power rule, okay, where I just take you know the power on the item I'm taking the log of, and just stick it out in front. Um, okay, so now we're there. Now all I have to do is really just divide both sides by this constant, which is natural log of A, and that is how I arrive at my change of base formula, right there, okay? So, you know, um, if you've been working with, you know, logs for, you know, a little bit, um, it won't be too long before you run into, uh, you know, you find out that, you know, you really don't, as far as all the logarithm rules go, you really don't have to memorize a damn thing, except what it is and the, and the logarithm power rule. Um, because, you know, after that, um, you, you can pretty much derive every logarithm formula that you need to know um, from there. So, let's just take a, let's see, let's do an example of this really quick, okay? So, let's say I have... Uh, let me just think of a pretty straightforward one. So log two base thirty two. So we're in base two, um, you know, and we we want to know two. Well, we we know it. It's five. Two raised to the fifth power is going to give us thirty two. Okay. So let's see here. If um, this should be equal to uh, the natural log of thirty two divide by the natural log of 2, okay? Um, now, this isn't uh, the same as natural log of 32 minus 2. Um, you know, just, just don't, don't get the cat that confused. That's uh, log 32 divided by uh, log 2. So, uh, really the only way to do that is actually use your calculator. So, let's go natural log of 32 divided by natural log of 2. Shouldn't have been a big surprise that it was going to be 5, but hey, you know, it looks like everything checks out. Okay, so really the only goal here is, you know, uh, just, just show you where, where the change of base formula, where it comes, and where it's useful. Um, you know, the algebra behind it is pretty simple. Um, and, um, you know, basically it enables you to rock and roll. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next uh, videos.